welcome back to my channel. So today is the next episode in a series called Organize My Life. Uh, so we're just going to tackle things that tend to get cluttered or, you know, they just need to be cleaned and we put them off forever. So today we're going to look at the freezer. Um, I've got both a chest freezer as well as just your freezer on top of your fridge. So we're going to organize both of those. So I started by just emptying the freezer. It was cold because it's out in the mudroom, so I had to wear my jacket. Um, I used a basket just to make things easier to keep it all organized, and then just kind of sorted categories as I was going. Prior to this project, I had measured the freezer, and so I bought containers. I even bought some wire baskets um, so that I could organize everything and have each item in a category. So let me take you on a tour on what I did here. So this first basket here I've used for carbs, so bagels, breads, that sort of thing. And then the next one here I have frozen fruits and frozen veg. And down below I have fries and chicken nuggets, fish, the instant kind of stuff. And in this next bucket here I just have leftovers. And then down below here I've got my meat, so I've got my pork and my chicken and beef in these two containers. And then on the sides I've done things like pizza or boxes of um, instant type meals. Just a few things to keep in mind. Um, you do want to measure that the containers can go all the way across. The only thing is, is that you do need also space to be able to put your hands in to pull a container out. So if your container is right to the side um, on the second row, you won't really be able to get that container out too easily. So that was why I put some stuff on the edge there, just because I could set a container then on top of it and it would stack well. I was able to get the majority of these containers either at uh, a dollar store or I actually even picked up some stuff second hand. So if you bring your measurements with you, sometimes you can even find things at the second hand store. For example, this basket that has the bread in it, um, it doesn't fit the right direction, but I was able to pick it up for a dollar at the second hand store, so I don't mind, I just set it sideways and have it uh, rest on the other basket. I also tried to keep in mind what items we use uh, more regularly and kept those items towards the top and not have too many baskets to have to pull out to reach the items on the bottom. So at no point do I have to take out more than two or three baskets to be able to get the stuff that's underneath. I will say that having the baskets and containers in there doesn't really mean I can hold more items in the freezer, but rather than finding items a year later that are now all freezer burned and can't be used, I'm actually using the items in the freezer and therefore getting more use out of having a chest freezer. So next I moved on to my regular fridge freezer and I just emptied everything out just like I did in the chest freezer. I didn't have a lot in here just because I've been trying to use things up prior to doing this. I'm really trying to keep a more manageable amount of food in the house. So as you can see here, there's a lot less in the freezer, um, but it's so much more organized and easy to find. I actually picked up this wire basket at the secondhand store as well, and it just helps to keep items from falling out when you open the freezer. And then anything I don't use on a regular basis, I've just kept in my chest freezer. Well, thanks so much for watching. I hope that you got something out of that, and maybe you're inspired to clean your freezer as well. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this. Bye, guys!